earlier today on the recruiting trail for the Tigers. Some of it's good, some of it's bad. Do you want the dessert first or the vegetables is the question. I think we'll give you the good news before the bad. So here is the good news. Caden Durham commits to LSU today. There were two guys committing, both from the same high school there in Duncanville, Texas. Durham was one. Colin Simmons, the other. Durham is the four-star running back from the Lone Star State. And he's coming to LSU. He commits to the Tigers. That was kind of expected coming in. And it's a really good pickup because that's now vaulted LSU into a higher ranking in the national terms. But also, you're just solidifying that running back room even more going forward forward so Durham is a four-star guy hovering around the top 100 depending on where you look what recruiting service you use on 24 7 sports he's number 95 nationally the number nine running back and one of the top guys in the state of Texas on the recruiting trail really came down to LSU and Oklahoma his last visit was LSU that Bayou splash event so really inspired confidence in folks and this guy can fly he's really a do-it-all running back he's got the speed he's got the physicality and the frame he's a shorter dude about five foot ten but 200 plus pounds and he has speed to go along with what he can do from the power standpoint sub 11 second 100 meter dash right around 10 25 10 30 some of his numbers are wind aided which doesn't really matter to me, but I'm just going to put that out there as a disclaimer. The point is, he can really move. He can really fly. So he's the 23rd commit in LSU cycle and vaults the Tigers inside the top 10 on 24-7 sports. I even saw from Shea Dixon at on three that LSU is now in the top five, I believe, with that commitment. So the class finished in the top 10, firmly in the top 10 last year. That's a really good pickup for this group. Now, the commit they didn't get from Duncanville High School, Colin Simmons. Five-star, number eight national prospect. 6'3", 225, big edge guy that really would have come in and started definitely next year at that edge spot because I've talked about this on prior episodes. What this team doesn't have right now is that second prolific edge rusher, a B.J. Ojolari type that can get to uh, get into the backfield, get pressure, and cause some havoc. They don't have that. They're not going to get that with Simmons. He commits to Texas over LSU. Kind of saw it coming. That's kind of how it goes with high-profile recruits like this. They like to tweet out things and put out things on social media that lead people to think one way just to go the other. So, you know, he's posting videos of Colin Baton Rouge and, you know, posting Twitters of LSU. You're like, oh, this is a slam dunk. I mean, this guy, he's going to LSU. And in the back of my head, I'm like, I've seen this movie before. They end up going to the other school. They're just throwing out different videos, different waves to get people excited. Like, yeah, he's coming just to go the other way. So he ends up committing to Texas. He's compared to Nick Benito, who played at Oklahoma a couple years ago. He's in the NFL now. And really what he would have been is a Harold Perkins-type player, but plays defensive end. So it's a tough loss, but you brought in a five-star edge player last year and Deshaun Womack, who a lot of people are talking about a lot here in fall camp, and a lot of people think could play this upcoming season, play some kind of a role, and obviously in the future he's going to develop and be a stud. So you don't get Simmons, you do get Durham, and your class right now is firmly in the top 10. So Brian Kelly continues to work wonders and make some magic happen on the recruiting trail. And LSU has another excellent running back. And we'll talk more about those running backs later on in the podcast. So good for the Tigers picking up a four-star.